In computer science, a linear bounded automaton is a restricted form of Turing machine. Operation. A linear bounded automaton is a non-deterministic Turing machine that satisfies the following three conditions. Its input alphabet includes two special symbols, serving as left and right end markers. Its transitions may not print other symbols over the end markers. Its transitions may neither move to the left of the left end marker nor to the right of the right end marker. In other words, instead of having potentially infinite tape on which to compute, computation is restricted to the portion of the tape containing the input plus the two tape squares holding the end markers. An alternative weaker definition is as follows. Like a Turing machine, an LB8 possesses a tape made up of cells that can contain symbols from a finite alphabet, a head that can read from all right to one cell on the tape at a time and can be moved, and a finite number of states. An LBA differs from a Turing machine in that while the tape is initially considered to have unbounded length, only a finite contiguous portion of the tape, whose length is a linear function of the length of the initial input, can be accessed by the read right head, hence the name linear bounded automaton. This limitation makes an LBA a somewhat more accurate model of a real-world computer than a Turing machine, whose definition assumes unlimited tape, LBA and context-sensitive languages. Linear bounded automata are acceptors for the class of context-sensitive languages. The only restriction placed on grammars for such languages is that no production maps a string to a shorter string. Thus no derivation of a string in a context-sensitive language can contain a sentential form longer than the string itself. Since there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between linear bounded automata and such grammars, no more tape than that occupied by the original string is necessary for the string to be recognized by the automaton. History In 1960, John Myhill introduced an automaton model today known as deterministic linear bounded automaton. In 1963, Peter S. Landweber proved that the languages accepted by deterministic LBAs are context-sensitive. In 1964, S.Y. Kuroda introduced the more general model of linear bounded automata. Noted that Landweber's proof also works for non-deterministic linear bounded automata, and showed that the languages accepted by them are precisely the context-sensitive languages. LBA problems in his seminal paper, Kuroda also stated two research challenges, which subsequently became famously known as the LBA problems. The first LBA problem is whether the class of languages accepted by LBA is equal to the class of languages accepted by deterministic LBA. This problem can be phrased succinctly in the language of computational complexity theories. First LBA problem, is NSPACE, equals DSPACE. The second LBA problem is whether the class of languages accepted by LBA is closed under complement. Second LBA problem, is NSPACE, equals co-NSPACE. As observed already by Kuroda, a negative answer to the second LBA problem would imply a negative answer to the first problem. But the second LBA problem has an affirmative answer, which is implied by the Imam and Silly PC say the theorem proved 20 years after the problem was raised. As of today, the first LBA problem still remains open.